Hi there. This video is going to show you how you can set up Caldwell Banker G Suite or Caldwell Homes G Suite on your iOS device, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad. Before you actually do anything with your device, we do recommend you going through some initial steps. We recommend you signing into your CaldwellHomes.com email on your computer so you can change your password to something unique before actually doing everything on your device and having to change your password again. So before setting up Caldwell G Suite on your iOS device, go to mail.google.com in any web browser and log in with your CaldwellHomes.com email address, which will be the first initial last name at CaldwellHomes.com. So if your name is John Smith, for example, or Jane Smith, jsmith at CaldwellHomes.com would be your email address. Your initial password for getting into Caldwell G Suite is going to be Caldwell with a capital C. 2018 and remember this password is case sensitive in case you're not able to get into your account make sure you are capitalizing the c once you enter that for the first time you will be asked to change that password to something unique the apps that you're actually going to want to set up on your device are going to be these here which you can download and install from the ios app store gmail Google Calendar, Google Drive will show you what you need to search for in the App Store and what that'll look like when these actually download and install on your device, how to sign in, etc. And in some later videos in the series, we'll show you some tips and tricks for using each one of these. To get your contacts onto your device, if you're using Caldwell G Suite for your contacts, you're going to want to go into your iOS settings and set up a contacts account. We'll show you how to do that as well in this video here. So on that note, what I'm going to do is actually switch over to my iPad and show you what installing and setting up each of these apps look like on your iOS device. All right, so I have my iPad open. What I'm going to do is now on my iPad, this could be an iPhone as well, I'm going to go to the App Store, which on iOS 11 looks something like this. Looks like this A icon. Could be somewhere else on your device. Just look for it. I'll open that up. I'll go to my search here, and I'm going to search for three different apps. The ones I'm going to want to search for are going to be, I go to my search up here, Gmail. It should look something like this. It says Gmail, email by Google. I'll download that if it's not already on my device. Others I'm going to search for are going to be Google Calendar. So I see that here, I'm going to download that if it's not already installed again. And the last one I'm going to search for is going to be Google Drive. So I see that here, it's that little triangle icon. It's going to give me a lot more storage than what I probably already have. And I'll let that download and install onto my iOS device. And if I go back to my screen here, to my iPad, I see that these are all downloading and installing. I'll wait for those to download and install. One last thing I will probably want to do is set up my Caldwell G Suite contacts on my iOS device. So to do that, I'm going to go to my settings. I'll find the settings gear. I see it here. It may be elsewhere on your device. And in my settings, I'm going to want to go to I scroll down, accounts and passwords. I'll tap here, add account, and I'm going to want to add a new Google account to my device. So I'll tap that, I'll tap Google. I'm gonna be asked to sign in where I'll enter my caldwellhomes.com email address. As such here, again, this will be the, your first initial last name at caldwellhomes.com. And I'll enter in my password. So I'm going to quickly do that. And I'll hit next. Now what I want to do is, un actually what I want to do here is I want to uncheck mail and calendars because I'm going to use the Google apps for those, the ones that I just downloaded and installed. If you're not going to use the Google apps, you can keep these checked, 
But if you're going to use the Google Ads, which we do recommend, keep those unchecked so you don't have duplicate emails on your device. The only one you're going to want to keep checked is your contacts. So I'll go ahead and save that. Now, any contacts which I email that I send email to from my Caldwell G Suite account, those are automatically going to get added to my email. They're, they are also going to show up on my device. So I'll see them in both places, online on a computer as well as on my device. What I see here is the Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Drive apps are now on my device. So I'll want to actually sign into those. I'll open up the Gmail app here. I'll sign in. And I'll hit continue. And here again, I'm going to add, it says I have other accounts on here. I'm going to want to use another account, or it'll just ask me to enter in my Caldwell Homes email address. So I'll go ahead, enter that in. As such here. And, you know, depending on whether you need to save this password or not, you don't have to. I'll hit not now. And again, enter in your Caldwell Homes G Suite password. So I'll hit next. I'll hit not now again. And this is going to ask if I want notifications sent to me, which I definitely want. So I get notified of new emails. I'll hit got it down here. And I see here my Caldwell email. I see if I tap this little menu icon. My Caldwell email is now on my device. If I need to add any other emails to my device, any other email addresses, any other Gmail accounts, I can easily do that. If I tap this little menu icon and I tap this drop down here, I click Manage Accounts and I can go ahead and click Add Account. And it's going to ask me to set up email. So I can add other types of emails, non-Gmail emails to this. But if I need to add another Google email, like a personal Gmail account, I'll just tap Google. I'll hit continue. And it's going to prompt me to sign into another Google account that I have. I'll go back here. And again, I see my most recent emails in here. What I'm also going to see is if I pull up Google Calendar, It's going to ask me this. I'll click OK. And I'm going to want to turn on toggle this Caldwell Homes calendar. So I'll get started down here. It's going to ask me if I want my contacts to be accessed. I definitely want that. I'll hit OK. I want to allow notifications. I'll scroll through that. I'll tap got it down here. And now I see my calendar on my device. And I also see Google Drive down here. Just going to tap that real quick. I'll scroll through this. I'll hit Done. And this is loading my Caldwell Homes Google Drive right here. So that there shows you how to set all of these apps up on your iOS device. Please keep watching our other videos in this series for some tips and tricks on using each of these tools on your mobile device.